Hello there. So, um, some of you guys had asked me to uh, demonstrate how to use an ads uh, from the thread that I did there. I think it was raising, uh, making a raised panel with the with a hand plane, where I do the preliminary work uh, with the ads. So, um, so here we go. So, what I'll do is I'll make another raised panel just to show you how that's done and how the ads is used. This is the ads that I use. Uh, this particular one was my grandfather's, probably from his father before him. Uh, usually these things are a lot longer, uh, so this guy is a little bit of a stub. Here's another one from the family. You can see how much longer it is. Uh, now, this is a pretty, it can be a pretty precise tool. Uh, it's razor sharp, you can shave with it, uh, and you can take shavings just like with a plane. Uh, if that's what you want to do or you can take a lot of material if you just want to rough something up uh, they're very easy to use uh, once you just have to get used to it uh, basically is used just with up and down motion like that it, basically they you know the movement of your arm dictates how he cuts you don't have to really make a dig in too much so um, here we go so basically making a raised panel when you doing it with a hand plane uh, for example using this one that I made uh, I know that this makes an inch and five eighths field on the panel so what I do is I uh, first scribe the inch and five eighths line all around four sides Across the grain is particularly important because this this particular plane does not have a nicker uh, that basically scores when it goes across the grain, preventing it from tearing the grain there. So it's important to use a, uh, a marking gauge. This one actually sort of cuts and on the end grain that's particularly important. So now I also know that this particular plane creates a panel that's where the top of the field is 5 eighths lower, uh, 3 eighths lower than the top. So again, you scribe also a line at that point so you know where you got to go with the ads. Okay, since the old eyes are not the same as they used to be. I have to run a pencil on this scratch made by the marking gauge so I know, so I can see it. And again over there, all the four edges. Now I'm going to have to do this in a couple steps this video because I don't have anybody else to film so I need to move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So here's the, what's going to be the panel. So essentially I'm going to all around rough it up first with the ads and the reason why that's done is you could do the whole thing with the hand plane. However, I mean, it takes a lot longer because what you're doing when you're cutting the panel with this plane is essentially you're cutting always on that edge first until you reach pretty much the end and then the whole cutter cuts. If you keep on doing that, essentially what happens is that the blade dulls a lot more down here than it does everywhere else and you got to sharpen these bl the blade uh, more often than you should and these are not that easy to um, to sharpen because you need to keep exactly the profile of the panel so if you have to grind it you have to essentially be very precise on how you do it and then when you hone it you could actually uh, uh, you could actually make a mistake and and, and not do that right and uh, and it wouldn't be parallel to the bottom. So that's how we do it. So we save 
the plane. All right, so let me move the camera.